the grip for the volley should be hammer grip, but we're gonna change that slightly for the back and volley. Up to back, we don't need to lift more. Non-dominant arm to go back so you can counterbalance. Eye level counter point, and then we can kind of Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krinitin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. What's up guys? Welcome back to another 10 Fitmen video. Today I'm gonna share with you five golden tips for your back and volley. Let's go. All right, tip number one. And we're gonna start here with the grip. We all know at least I hope we know. The grip for the volley should be hammer grip. And that is with the index finger knuckle on the bevel number two, right? But we're gonna change that slightly for the back and volley, the one-handed back and volley. I'm just gonna explain. We have this here, right? And this is good for the forehand volley. The back and volley, we want to have a little bit more support on this side. So what I like to do is to kind of turn a little bit here, right? From here, to here so now I have this thumb here and I can have a little bit more push support right so from this here it's tough to see right this to this here so when I have instead of there I can have a bit more press a bit more force behind so once again from here to here bam so that's important Up. Tip number two will be the adjusted split step. So we all know, we should know the split step, right? So up, up. Now, the adjusted step is the little step that comes after this big split step, right? So it's up, bam. So if I play the volley, I won't do this. And here, you can, and sometimes you will do it when you don't have time, but in order to get a perfect position, right, for your contact point, you need that step to kind of adjust, right? So it's gonna be like split step, pop, and then this. And also if I'm at the net, so I play the volley, pop, I'm gonna do here, pop, bam, here. I'm not gonna do pop, I'm gonna do pop, bam, pop, bam. It's similar like, you know, the back of pop, the first one that kind of opens, and then we go here, so pop, bam. So it's that little step adjustment. Tip number three is the take back or the turn, right? The start of the turn. And here we want to limit that turn. We want to be careful because that's this is a common mistake where players tend to over swing here, too big. It's nothing wrong with the shoulder turn, right? But we want to limit that racket range like here up to the shoulder, right? We don't need to lift more. So, up, bam, right here. Just have the shoulder as a reference, so we don't extend here too much. Limit that, so here, bam. Tip number four will be what we do after that position, how we go towards the contact point, and this is about stretching your chest, having your non-dominant arm to go back so you can counterbalance, and having your head still at the contact point, so up, so it's bam. So that's gonna be the eye level, that I call eye level, it's one of the best tips I got at the university in US from Eric Shore. Say hi to him. So it's it's the eye level contact point and how we separate arms and stretch our chest, right? So from here, we need to find that eye level. It means like my eye level is here. So if the ball is here, I need to get to my eye level there. So I'm gonna have much better control, right? Top eye level and how I separate and stretch my chest here right bam so the non-dominant arm goes back to kind of you know counterbalance eye level contact point finally the tip number five is about when we go through the contact point the orientation of the racket face and also the position here how we have the locked locked angle here right we need to have so we're not gonna like do this, we have to lock here. Kind of 90 degree or something like that, but just lock. And then 
the angle here there is there is slight angle but we don't want to go too open right we almost want to kind of flatten out that contact point right and then we can kind of continue but again this one is fixed a lot of players kind of over slice the volley and same with the slice so kind of want to so from here bam right at the contact point and then continue what i would like to add here think about kind of swiping the racket across the bookshelf right so from here eye level but then it's the bookshelf and then extension without changing this angle so it's the bookshelf extension so that was five tips and now as always i'm going to give you one bonus tip and this is the legs the wide stance the good base being elastic and trying to play this volley with that weight transfer so more body less of arm action you definitely need to have some you know extension here but it's more bam body right up bam up bam trying to use more body with a good base all right that was it and now i'm gonna do a quick recap five golden tips and one bonus tip number one was the grip it's not a regular hammer grip we have to make a, a little twist here so we have more support on this side with this thumb right so we can kind of press it more tip number two is the the extra step after the split step right so it's up bam before we continue right so it's that small step here the number three is that turn how we limit the swing here on the shoulder we don't go back so it's good to turn but limit the racket here so bam number four is up what happened after that that's separation of arms and eye level eye level contact point right top separation of arms eye level contact point and kind of having that good balance having the head still and the tip number five is that when we get to that contact point that we want to have that we don't change this angle here it's kind of fixed and then the racket the angle of the racket face a bit changes almost becomes square to the net and also we extend through like and kind of swipe across the bookshelf and stand right without changing that angle and we have the bonus tip good foundation good base white stance and play more with your body like up bam that's it so that was it hope you enjoyed it hope you found it useful and uh, if so smash that like button share with your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel click that bell notification icon and uh yes i really had a blast enjoy today and uh, i hope you will too and that you will manage to improve your one handed back in with these golden tips and take it to the next level and also feel free to check our all the other social media platforms all the links below in the description thank you again so much i'll see you soon in our next video